so in this video we are going to discuss about memory expansion the memory ICs can be connected together to expand the number of memory words or the number of bits per words um, so the memory expansion is achieved by expanding the word size and uh, or by expanding the memory capacity so first uh, let us discuss about uh, the expanding the word size so it is possible to expand the word size of the memory by connecting uh, two or more ICs together so this uh, word size of the memory can be increased by connecting the two memory IC in such a way that uh, their data bus are in series and uh, the address bus are in parallel okay so it can be achieved by connecting two or more ICs and uh, by connecting a data bus in series and address bus in parallel rest uh, the chip select pin um, are given uh, Simon tells ok so let us discuss on problem based on this uh, so the problem is uh, design 1k cross 8 ram using 2 1k cross 4 ICs ok so first uh, let me draw this uh, 1k cross 4 1k cross 4 so uh, they have given a uh, 2 1k cross 4 ICs uh, 1k means uh, here 1k represent 2 power 10 so 10 is nothing but your address bus. so it ranges from a0 to a9 totally 10 okay so you know that the address bus is um, you need action a0 to and uh, this one represent a uh, data bus so here totally I have uh, 8 uh, data bus and it is by direction ok so this one is here data bus so it is by direction which ranges from d0 to d7 so if it is ranging from d0 to d7 means it is from d0 to d3 and this is from d4 to d7 so rest uh, the chip select pin chip select pin and uh, right and uh, read pin are common common for both so this is nothing but active low pin okay so this is your chip select pin and this is your word pin and this is your write pin and this is your read pin So this is how you have to connect the uh, this is how you have to do the, uh, the problem. So next one expanding the 
memory capacity so it can be memory in, um, done by connecting a two or more ICs in parallel okay. so this means the data address and control line are connected in parallel to all the memory chips and uh, uh, each IC is selected by uh, by a separate uh, chip select pin which is generated by the uh, address decoder okay so uh, let us discuss one problem based on this uh, design uh, design 16k cross 8 ram using 4k cross 8 ICs So you can see uh, here I have um, 2 power 4, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 10 is uh, um, k. So totally you have 14 address pin. Okay. So here you can have 2 into 2 power 10, it is 12 address pin. Okay. So here, um, uh, rest of the four address pin is uh, given to uh, is uh, it's the output of the decoder. Okay. So first, uh, let me collect a, a decoder. Uh, so four is your um, output. So four is your output means uh, n is to two power n is your um, decoder value. So two is your input <coughs> so this ranges from a0 to a13 right so here it ranges from a0 to um, a11 so the rest 12 and 13 should be given here 12 and 13 so this is your decoder so it will produce uh, four outputs so this four output is given to the 4 cross 4k cross 8 ram okay as a uh, chip select pin your first chip select in next one is this this one and uh, so you know the data pin right so totally I have uh, eight data pins d0 to d7 and uh, it should be a Y directional pin right Next, uh, this is uh, this one is uh, address pin. Address pin is common, right? Address pin also common. That is uh, A0 to A11. Okay. Let's say you need direction one. And you have a, um, 
read write pin right so read and write pin so this is active low pin and this is your this is also active low pin so cs represent uh, chip select so this is how we have to connect the circuit memory